day one. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. Huh? I'm very happy. <laughs> you're not uh, bleeding or anything, are you? Huh? You're not bleeding from it, are you? Not yet. You talk about raining and warm. Is it? It's like. Well, it isn't. It's supposed to get real cold later on. Or this evening, it's supposed to get out. 38. Well, around 40, I think, over what I was listening to. I was listening to WCRH. And they said, uh, I think around 44, 46 degrees. What are you drinking? Show me what the stuff is. You can't see if it's clear. My goodness. Wait, this is the fourth one here. That doesn't look like beer. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> yeah. It's the fourth one. Really? You can drink that this in here. Uh-uh. No, I think I'll, I'll pass. I had that only once or twice ever in my life. I don't want it again. I'm going to try to do this every day for you. Uh, Seven forty five, I get to surgery. Yeah, six forty five, they go. Yeah, when you leave here. Yes, six forty five. That's too early. Oh, you awake now. Oh, my, the other morning I got four o'clock. I couldn't sleep, so I didn't know. That's probably, I'll be, I don't think I'll sleep tonight. They oh, shouldn't well, put I somebody. Well, I get away from my cabin home. They shouldn't put somebody in the room with somebody when they're doing the drinking this stuff. That's what I've got to say. Well, I've got to put it up with two in there in the same thing. I guarantee you, you'd be fighting over the bathroom. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, you would be. See, the medicine's all going. <laughs> I told you. Medicine's all going. What they don't make in games and stuff on TV these days. Something else. Day one, right? What you wanted? Day two. See, now you're a quarter way through us. You already had all you already had all that cleaning out. <laughs> That's big enough to haul the family in. <laughs> that that wheelchair there is it's big enough to haul the family in. Sunny out there, no view. No view out of the dirty hospital window. That's not good, is it? Sometimes that makes you tired of work. True.
glad that surgery's over. This is day three, right? Yeah. When they called down to my room, they used to say, are you free to make a call? Well, I was. My skids were all in practice, and Andy and I were just plugging away doing some stuff. And uh, I just chatted away like you know. Day number three. I want to rebound. Oh, you're ble and, bleeding. Uh, still bleeding real bad. Still bleeding inside, but he said that's nothing unusual. He said that's some getting out of bound. He said to us, but I'm going to have this hose in my nose. He said at least another day, possibly another day. No, that's the truth. That's the drain of my bowel. Yeah. No, it's draining your stomach. Down my throat and into my stomach. Yeah. And it's very uncomfortable, and that's why I was hoping I could get out today. Especially whenever he had to have it done like that. Like I know he has. Uh, three messages, and I, I didn't. I only got a cup of coffee and run back out the door again. 
feel like she don't know what it's like. She said she liked it in the uh. daytime being alone. I don't. <sighs> I don't think so. Tell Mormon no. <laughs> that that it, it'd probably be two months in Canada because they said they might have to send him home with the Staples in. And uh, that's possibly if they would let him out next Monday, that they would he'd probably have to go home with the men. But if they have to keep him longer, it might be they might have to remove him here. But but it's day four. I'm not going to hold you on here. I know Vic, Victor talked to me today, and uh, he's really things are going on. Oh, just. A, So on day four, second canister. Mm. What? What happened? Oh, you just had your walk. They do nice upholstery work, don't they? Yeah, just tap it up. Okay. You know, can't see nothing else down there any lower. <laughs> nothing else lower. It's still there. <laughs> That's where I put it. Oh, I never got your new flat iron. Huh? There's all these flowers being delivered today when I pulled the car. I don't stop here. The additions. Ain't she something? <laughs> You pay for maid service, don't you? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, and I got this in the nasty nurses, too. They said they was going to be somebody talking today, and when I leave here, they'll give me a questionnaire thing to fill out to send back into the hospital about how my stay was and any complaints I had. And I said, a couple of nurses things. Oh, and I knocked it on manual focus. This is day five of the That's what's been a matter with this. Hurt when you cough, Jim. Just a little bit. You got that kind of a. Oh, he knows, but not. His wasn't expanded. You didn't hurt that bad when I got my appendix out when I called. Well, they cut me a lot of donuts. He did. He just cut me here. Right, right, right above us. Both sides. I think I'd have been rather, I'd, I think I'd have been rather cut there on the sides. Let's see what they did. Straight they, up the center. They, oh, no, they cut through your stomach muscles. They cut through That's your stomach muscles. That's why you have a hard time. That's why you have a lot of pain. Until <clears> your stomach muscles start healing back up. But still, even if you bluff out or something and you get to lose weight, by any chance if you bluff out, which I doubt, but there's no way you're going to tighten up your stomach muscle because of that. That's why now when they give you a cesarean, they cut you 
going to this space so they can cut your stomach muscles because if you look at this, it's not much you can get from your stomach because it comes straight away. Because they cover this with the chin. It's not going to gain the weight. No, but I'm yeah, saying. You can gain weight there. No, but what I'm saying is if you do gain weight and blip out <laughs> and then you lose your weight, you can't tighten up your stomach muscles because they cut it. Do you have anything to say what but day it is? But you're not going to blip out. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> He'll blip out at 120. It's day five, and hopefully I'll be out of here in... By Monday. By Monday. And what day is it? <clears throat> Today's Thursday. <laughs> December the 5th. Tomorrow will be Friday, December the 6th. I get this tube out, out of my nose. Your... If you're no good. No bites. I'm going to. Sometime, <laughs> sometime tomorrow morning. Day five of our vacation. <laughs> Ain't no vacation. <laughs> Glad you're better today than yesterday. Huh? Glad you're better than yesterday. They allow you to use mouthwash. Regular mouthwash, not that stuff. Regular mouthwash. They allow me to brush my teeth. Clark is going to die. Who's yesterday? It's alcohol free mouth freshening rinse. Yeah, brought that in. Oh. They, let me that. they let me brush my teeth, but I can't have no vent or anything. That's because you're not swallowing any of that stuff. You just steal some of that stuff and drift back and back. You probably right. do anyhow just to get. Give me a taste, give me a taste, give me a taste. <laughs> Thanks, John. Yes, he does. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, Hell, he's been getting in trouble. Went that Vicks, that was a full bottle. Hey, hey. He sucks it right back out. <laughs> he started sucking like. Day six of your vacation. Six. Day six. Of what? My hospital stay. <laughs> and what's good news today? Got that hose pulled out of my nose, out of my stomach. And you were starting on what the third container of uh, acidic still. What do you mean by that? The juice is in the container. That's going now. The woman did tell me though I get liquids tomorrow. I go I guess the food. Mm -hmm. Imitation jello. No, thank you. And if I um, tolerate the liquids tomorrow, which is Saturday, I get Saturday, December the fifth. Or December the what? Seventh. December the seventh. Okay. Yeah, then Sunday, December the eighth. I'll get solid food. Which could be an actual meal. If I tolerate the liquids tomorrow. And then Monday, December the 9th, I'll be out of here. Maybe. Maybe. No, I'm still in the same gown, but I didn't want to go. And now are you glad you had the surgery? No. Huh? <laughs> are you glad you had the surgery now? Yeah, I guess. I'll tell you either way that. Let me now see your incision. Feel, now I'm feeling better. And they gave me these nice little pajama bottoms now. I'm taking this pair home with me. The better you just... Did he give you a lightning rod? Mm, it's what it looks like, don't it? But I hope it don't lightning. Right here by this window. You're lightning rod the way the weather's been. See, they shaved on it. Yeah. The zipper. Just sitting in my pouch. Your pouch. And you may possibly get some of the IVs reduced. Yeah. All of them. No, temporarily. They'll temporarily. Still all the antibiotics, you said, they'll now just plug that in when I get them. Things are looking up. Again today. I didn't get none today though. The shop was closed. Okay. And we're film here. I think you should get a shot of your visit. I haven't even got no balloons in the knock. This is over five pounds. I should. Pounds. No. It's already great.
<laughs> There's Jeffrey. Oh, visiting. You're visiting me. Well, I appreciate all your visits. You know that? I got full full auto on. So it's got close up. You're, you're, I can hardly get your face in the. Oh, I forget. Well, I'm getting to seeing stars. There we go. Now we got his. You gotta get this off me, Jeff. I'm seeing them floaters. <laughs> you alright? Flowers are holding. 